Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Oscar Mikey and today I'm bringing you a much requested video. A lot of you have been asking me how to install the Escape from Zakov mod on Zero Sievert. I've been doing a playthrough of that on the channel recently. A lot of you guys really enjoying that series and you want to know how to install it. How do I get this installed so I can play it myself? Well, I'm going to show you guys today. We're just going to get right into it. I'm not going to mess around. I'm not going to give you any fluff or bullshit. I'm just going to show you exactly how to do it. So these are the files you need right here. This is the main mod file, the EFZ main mod file. You need GM loader, GM loader configuration file. Uh, custom sprite framework file, external external audio framework, and JSON override framework. Where the hell do you get these? This is a Nexus mod uh, project, so you need to go to Nexus mods. You do need an account to download stuff off of Nexus mods, um, so you guys can figure that out on your own. It's pretty pretty easy process, and they do have like paid like premium accounts that you can get, but the free one's gonna work just fine. So just go to the Nexus Mods main page. You can go to games and I've already, I've added this to my list. So Zero Sievert is right there, but you can search it up in the in the search box up there. And when you get to the Zero Sievert mod page, um, I mean, Escape from Zakov is right here. It's a really popular mod, but you can go to the uh, most popular of all time mods and Escape from Zakov will be right there. Click on that and this will bring you to the Escape from Zakov uh, page. Now, the links to all the files that you need are on this page in one form in one form or another. It's actually not very consistent, so I'm going to show you exactly where to get all of them. Scroll down here and there's going to be a tab like there's this little list here and a tab called requirements. Open this up and this is going to give you a few of the files, not all of them. These are uh, the ones that you need. We got the audio framework, GM loader and JSON files here. And then also you'll have the link to download the Escape from Zakov main mod file right here. This button that says manual. Vortex is like Nexus Mods mod manager or mod downloader. It, it, it does it for you, but I just use the manual method. I downloaded the files myself and then extracted them. Uh, it works perfectly fine. I didn't mess around with Vortex. So first file, uh, just click this manual button here to download the Escape from Zakov main mod. It'll tell you that you need these additional files. That's fine. Hit download anyways, and it should bring you here. Let's go slow download. Download will begin in a few seconds. And this process is going to be the same for all the other files. So there we go. It's downloading right now. Great. So we have the main mod file downloaded. We can go back to the Escape from Zakov page here. All the links for all of these uh, files are going to be in the uh, description of this video too, guys. So if you want to get the links directly, they're all right there and it's much easier for you just to get them that way. But again, going to the description tab of uh, the main mod page down here, we have requirements. Click on this to go to the audio framework, um, the audio framework page. Same deal, hit the manual download button there. And we have the JSON override framework file here. Same deal, it'll bring you to the page. Hit manual download to download it. We'll go back to requirements on the main uh, Escape from Zakov page. Click on GM loader. This is where it gets kind of weird. There's more than one GM loader file. If you remember, there's actually two. There's the GM loader file and then the GM configuration file itself. On the GM loader page, go to files. And then it's going to give you both of these files right here. You need to download both of these files to make the mod work. So hit manual download on the main file and then manual download on the uh, configuration file here. So at that point, we have five files downloaded. The last one is in kind of a weird spot. Go over to docs. For some reason, they don't put the custom sprite framework file on the, you know, on the description and requirements page. I don't know why they decided to do that, but you do need this file to uh, make the mod work. So here's the custom framework. Uh, a link. We have all the other ones already. Go in here, just copy this. Copy this link. Go to the page here. Again, this is going to be linked in the description for you if you just want to click on and go right in. But we have the custom sprite framework here and click manual to download it. Great. So now we have all the mod files downloaded and now we need to unpack them or extract them in the Zero Sievert game folder. For me, this is on my C drive and program files x86. Uh, scroll down to Steam, Steam apps, common, and then all the way down at the bottom, we have Zero Sievert right there. So this is the Zero Sievert uh, game folder. All of the files are in here. I've already installed the mod, so I'm not going to do the full process, but yeah, have this open and then go back to your desktop and you can cut them or copy them and just paste them into the Zero Sievert uh, main folder. And they're all going to show up right here. Leave them all selected. Right click and hit extract all. You want to extract them inside of the Zero Sievert uh, game folder right here. It'll unpack all of these zip files and it'll copy all of the files, everything that you need. It'll make all the required folders and stuff and put a bunch of shit in the mods folder and all that. And that's great. So you've got all the files, but now you need to compile them or basically install the mod. And to do that, we look for the executable file, the exe file called GM loader. 
and you double click this and it's going to bring up a window that will basically install the mod for you. Windows might throw up like a blue error message saying Windows prevented uh, an application from installing or changing some files. That's perfectly normal. You might see that based on like your Windows Defender settings or whatever. Just click through that, say, yeah, I understand. I want to I want to continue with the installation anyways. Just click through that and then it'll pop up this window. You'll see a bunch of code and text and stuff and it's basically installing the mod for you. And when it's done, it's going to automatically launch the game and you'll know that the mod has been successfully installed because it'll say EFZ with the build number right underneath the Zero Sievert um, title on the main menu right here, EFC 1.12. And from there, you can start a new game. You can pick uh, pick a safe slot, pick your difficulty. The difficulties are different. Um, so like survivor mode, there are hardcore settings on survivor mode. I didn't know this when I started my playthrough. So just be careful when you're picking your difficulties. Some of these uh, settings may be a little bit different and you can go in and pick your kit, your starting kit. We have the AK-74U, it's a little bit of a different sprite. Some of the sprites are the same for some of the, for a few of the weapons, but a lot of them are different, and there are some completely new weapons as well. And that's it. That's how to install the Escape from Zakov mod for Zero Sievert. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video uh, helpful or interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it for me. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm gods, and get subscribed if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you, and I'll talk to you in the next video.